New at 10 tonight, the focus now shifts to Christmas, of course. Right about now, you may be looking for that ideal Christmas tree. A tight supply, though, means some shoppers will be paying more and searching longer to find what they are looking for. News 4's Edward Burt shows us tonight why that perfect tree may be harder to come by. Ellen, the Sunday after Thanksgiving is typically the busiest time of the year to buy a Christmas tree here in Music City. Like other crops, Christmas trees are a commodity. They go through cycles, and this year, a nationwide shortage could mean a pricier tree and fewer to choose from. It's been very difficult uh, trying to locate good trees this year. Jim Sovine runs the Kiwanis Christmas tree lot on White Bridge Road. We're playing catch up, and we've, we've got another year to uh, catch up. The tree shortage was created a decade ago when the 2008 recession and droughts drove many growers out of business. Now the supply is tight and it takes 8 to 10 years to grow Christmas trees to boost the supply. Sobine says he's had to pay more for trees this year, but that he's not passing those costs on to customers. I hope I don't run out. Like I said, I do have three more trucks coming um, over the next three weeks. Officials say the larger retailers are doing just fine. However, it's the smaller charitable and mom and pop operators that have had to scramble for trees. Today has been crazy, and if every day is like today, it's going to be a lot. It, it, all the trees are going to be gone pretty quickly. At the Boy Scout Troop 17 lot near Bell Mead, more than 900 trees came in just two weeks before Thanksgiving. They had to place their order back in June to not get shorted. We were lucky. We had to place the order on the spot for 900 trees or we would have been out. With the lean supply, shoppers might want to start early if they want their choice and variety. Also, U.S. consumers are expected to buy about 27 million trees, roughly the same as the last two years, and that is according to the National Christmas Tree Association. Alan.